narrowly dodging a repeat of 2015 and 2016's hashtag Oscars so white, the Academy awards a record amount of nominations to this clown. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? On this IM Debrief, we break down the 2020 Oscars snubs, surprises, and historic firsts. Beginning with historic firsts, director Bong Joon-ho racks up a few with his peach of a thriller, Parasite. First South Korean film to be nominated for Best Picture and International Film ever, not to mention nods for Best Director, Best Screenplay, and Best Editing. <laughs> Joker also shocks the world once again, rising from a controversial opening amidst a summer of real-world violence to a billion-dollar box office, the first R-rated film to ever do so, to the most Oscar nominations of the 2019 crop with 11. Well, if you say so, kid, you know, Joker it is. It's good. Thanks, Murray. That's the first time a comic book film has ever pulled that off. And Joker is only the second to nab a Best Picture nomination after Black Panther in 2019. I lived my entire life waiting for this moment. Netflix bounces back from only two wins out of their 34 Golden Globe nominations, and The Irishman being shut out completely to score the most Academy nominations, a combined 24. I was not privy to that thought process. Including Best Documentary for American Factory and The Edge of Democracy, as well as Best Animated Feature for I Lost My Body and Klaus, Netflix rakes in three for The Two Popes, six for Marriage Story, and a whopping 10 for The Irishman. I don't let anybody tell you that, that they weren't afraid. There's a lot of bullshit. You know, they, yeah. everybody's afraid. Although Robert De Niro's de title role fails to pick up any accolades, Martin Scorsese's The Irishman is still able to tie Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and Sam Mendes' 1917. Both were big winners at the Globes and could have repeat performances, especially after 1917 opened strong in its wide release and dethroned Rise of Skywalker. Who's winning? Us, I think. Now, it may not be a first, but it is a rare event when an actor scores twice in a single year. Scarlett Johansson will be the 12th to be double nominated for Best Actor and Best Supporting. Oh, Cho Cho, you'll know when that happens. You'll feel it. Seven out of those 11 previous picked up one of their two awards, so odds are Johansson will come up lucky for Jojo Rabbit if she fails to steal Best Actress from Renee Zellweger for Judy. I'm working harder than you would ever believe. One more pleasant surprise is Florence Pugh's best supporting nod for Little Women. After all Midsummer put her through in 2019 and everything Black Widow will do to her in May 2020, it's nice to see the Academy recognize that Pugh is having a moment. Well, I believe we have some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. On the snub side of things, the Academy makes the decision to follow in the Hollywood Foreign Press Association's footsteps and not nominate any women for Best Director this year. Although Greta Gerwig did receive a nod for Little Women's Adapted Screenplay, she, Lulu Wong, Marielle Heller, Melina Matsukas, and all other women directors working in Hollywood are passed over for the award. Issa Rae, who read the noms with co-host John Cho, puts it simply. Congratulations to those men. And finally. With only a possible 20 acting nominations across four categories in any given year, there are naturally going to be some snubbed feelings. But the ones that sting the worst for 2020, Adam Sandler for Uncut Gems, Aquafina for The Farewell, Jennifer Lopez for Hustlers, and the dueling terror of Lupita Nyong'o in Us. What do you want? Oscar or not, that'll give us nightmares for years to come. For more awards season coverage, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.